like that. So we'll see what we've got here, see so we've got this Bridgestone alloy, well Bridgestone tyre and alloy here. And overall that alloy is in very good shape, I can't see sort of anything major, it's perhaps a little, I oh don't know, it's just a bit of fluff. Yeah, I mean it's all really tidy that one. And um, the centre cap, you've just got a little bit of corrosion on, which is obviously something you do get. And so the front right tyre here, so that's nearly a brand new tyre, you've got over 7mm of tread on the front right there on that Bridgestone tyre. Now come around the right hand side of the car and that's all really tidy and good. That's all good as well, so you've got the back right alloy and tyre. And again, another Bridgestone, I've got a full set of Bridgestone tyres all around this one as well. There's potentially a little bit uh, where it had been curbed on the edge of that uh, diamond cut spoke there. But otherwise it's all good. And again, just a little bit of corrosion just on the centre cap. Overall the alloy so far really good. And you've got nearly 5.5mm of tread on there which is plenty. And now coming round the back of the car here. So of course you've got your rear parking sensors as well. course you got the spare wheel as well okay, come around the back left hand side of the car here that's all good can't see any sort of scratches or dents or anything overall the car's in really good condition so back left alloy and tyre here as well that's all really tidy Again, just a little bit of corrosion just on the outside of that centre cap. And I just see how much tread we've got on this one here. And again, you've got five and a half mil of tread, which is plenty. And come around the left hand side of the car there. That's all good. No, that's just a fly. And it's on the front left here, so you've got this alloy and tyre. And you have just got, that's a little bit of a mark on that, that'll actually come off. I think it's just some kind of plastic or something. And the centre cap, again, just a little bit of corrosion, but otherwise the alloy, very, very good condition. And on the front left tyre here, you've got 7.5mm of tread. So that's basically a brand new tyre. And I've just noticed, it's a little bit of a mark just on there. It's very, very minor. Perhaps a small little dent, probably about the size of a 1p coin. It's very, very minor. Come around the front here. And you've got front parking sensors as well. And just to point out, there's a little bit of a chip here. Just a very small graze. If I stand back, you can see just how minor that is. Obviously it's something you will get on a car that's four years old. And just on the bonnet as well, there's just a couple of very small stone chips. I uh, can't actually see. I think it's actually just about one, can't actually see any more. Obviously it's something you will get. If I stand back, see again just how minor it actually is. The rest of the bonnet's all in very good shape. The windscreen as well, free from any major chips or cracks or anything like that. And you have got the two keys with this one as well. Now if I just come inside, I'll show you the driver's door first. That's all in good condition, can't see anything wrong there. Of course you've got your Bose sound system. You've actually got the electric memory seats on this one as well. driver's seat here, lovely S-line leather heated seats. Now if I just come inside, just be a bit easier to show you. Again I'll try and point out if there's any sort of major scratches or even any rips in the seats and stuff like that. But generally I think this one's all good. Now if I just start the car.
okay but as you can see that's all running exactly as it should be see the mileage on there 23,042 miles we've just done a service on this one as well because it was due a service when it came into us and you've got MOT till the end of December this year you've got your automatic lights down there I've actually got the, uh, the sat nav as well that's all working exactly as it should be if I just go on the map just to show you that's all working fine I'm not sure if I mentioned, but you have got front and rear floor mats in this one as well. That's all good. And the passenger leather seat there. And the passenger door. And the dash there, that's all good. And now if I just show you into the back of the car as well. Right, that's just beeping because I've left the ignition on. And I'll just show you, so you've got your heated seats just here as well. And that's all working as well as it should be. If I just turn it off. Once that screen goes in as well. Now if I just show you into the back of the car. So you've got the back right door here and that's all good. And the back of the driver's seat. Again, it's very tidy inside. Probably one of the most tidy cars I've seen in a while. There's really not much to sort of say about the condition, other than it's really, really good. And the rear seats here as well. There's a little bit of a watermark on there, but we could give that a little clean. I'm sure it'll come off. And the seat as well, that's all good. A little bit of wear just on that there. That's quite normal with leather as well. It's nothing major as you can see. And of course you've got the ice fix fittings just in there as well. And there we go, that's the 67 plate Audi A6 S line. Overall in very good condition with a few marks that you'd expect to get on a car that's four years old. Thanks for watching.